Okay, I don't know where to start. I'll be honest with you, mate. I've got pictures here, videos here, links here, websites open here. The stuff that I need to show you is mind-bending. And I, I've just got too much of it. I've got too much of it, okay? So I can't show you it all. You have to wait for another video, okay? But there's some things, mate, that I need to show you. We're going to start slow, and we're going to build them up, okay? We're going to start recapping some of the stuff that we've... Well, no, we're not going to recap. We're going to show you updates on the stuff, mate, okay? Starting with the Jellyfish UAP, or UFO, however you want to call it, okay? Tomatoes, tomatoes. Right, so I'm a little bit gutted about this one. I've got to be honest. I'm going to tell... I'm going to... I'm going to show you now right so there's this the jellyfish ufo if you haven't seen the the full length video of it on my last ufo video i show you the 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 footage okay it's basically going over this military base they call it the jellyfish ufo because it looks like a jellyfish and it's a thermal video capture so it's going cold and hot within milliseconds like going in and out it almost looks like it's disappearing now, the Pentagon have said, basically, we don't want to talk about it. Whether it got leaked or not, yeah, you've seen it, but we don't want to talk about it, which is really intriguing. So, all right, this thing goes over a military base, goes underwater for 17 minutes, and then boom, just catapults into the sky. Absolutely crazy. But somebody has enhanced the footage, or I should say the, vid the, the photo, and this is it. And this is what I'm a bit gutted about. Now, I don't know about you, but when I saw it, I was just sort of like, I know. When I think about UFOs, I think about sort of um, my mind not being able to register what it is, almost like uh, the, the material it's made out of. You know, it's like, what is that? Remember in um, uh, the, the most famous Roswell incident, they said that they got the metal and they could fold it, but then it sprung back. Like, like, on its own you know or like a, imagine thinking of a color like seeing a color that you've never seen before and you can't quite work out what, what it is you know I, I i wanted to see something like that i've never sort of seen before can't work out but maybe it is maybe that metal is like that or something it just seems to me a little bit man-made i don't know it's weird don't get me wrong but what intrigues me about this is this thing here. Like, what is that? Is that some sort of laser or something? I don't know. And with the legs, it's like, obviously, it looks, maybe it's, it's doing that type of octopus type thing in, in the water, you know? I don't know, mate. But I want to show you that because somebody has gone out there and um, enhanced it. And I thought it was pretty cool, right? So that's that over and done with. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hang on. I know what it is. TikTok. Mate, this woman here. Hiya. Hiya. Yeah. All right. Hiya. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Sorry to bother you. You're it's sorry to bother you. Right. This is freaky as F, mate. Okay. I don't know whether you've experienced this before. I don't know whether you know somebody who has, whether you believe in it, or is it literally just a conspiracy theory? But some people think that aliens walk amongst us, okay? Like they've, we've, like aliens have never left. They've, they've always been here. Or some people call it lizard people. But listen to this woman's story, mate. This is crazy. Listen up, y'all. I am. There are beings that is walking this earth, and they are not human. I just came from Kroger's. I just got off of work. I went to go pick up a few items, y'all. I go to the bread aisle. Now, the bread aisle is super long. I'm at one end of the bread aisle. There's a guy that's about three, four for the way down in the bread aisle. He got a cart. I got a cart. He's looking at me. And you know how you can see out your peripheral that somebody's staring at you. Yeah. He ain't just looking, but he's staring at me. I kind of look his way. He's still staring. I go ahead and I get my bread. I go back around the other way because I'm going to the international aisle to get some pasta and some other stuff. While I'm in the international aisle at one end, this guy comes around and he's at the top of the same aisle. I see him still looking at me. 
Now, mind you, there's a couple of things that I need to get out of that aisle. So the first part of the aisle, I grab what I need to grab and I go about midways down. He's at the other end. So he's staring at me still. So I kind of look at him and I go like, how do you give somebody that type look? He's still yeah. staring. So I'm looking for what I'm looking for. I can't really find it because he's throwing me off because he keeps staring. Mind you, this man don't have nothing in his cart. He's not even turned to look at any food. What a he's weird looking directly at me. By this time, I'm like, you know what? I'm not on it. I'm about to just stare you down. So I turn to look at him. Y'all, when I tell you, this man stared at me and his eyes turned black. Everything in his his whole eyeball, not just the pupil, but the white part turned completely black. Like, he, what is going on? And she seems quite legit. I mean, I know I say that, like anyone can make up a bullshit like story, but that's not the first time I've heard about this. Have you experienced it? Know anybody experienced it? Do you believe in that sort of stuff, mate? Imagine going shopping. And looking at somebody and their eyes turn bloody black, mate. What is that all about? It's like um, it's when sharks attack, like they roll their eyes back, you know? Or, or uh, like lizards where they go... Maybe it is a lizard person. Or is it an alien? Mate, that's freaky, man. Right, so that's that one. Um, which then brings me on to this woman. Okay, this is absolutely bloody weird. Listen to this. Listen to this, mate. What does this sign mean? I, I don't care. I ain't got time to look at your signs, mate. Here we go. Look. Uh, listen to this. This is some woman who is literally abducted by aliens. Okay? We looked last video into the fourth kind. Okay? Look at this. 1972. I was asleep and suddenly I heard a voice in my head that said, Please. Mate, I'm flipping freaking out here i'm sorry this is no exaggeration i'm freaking out come outside that was four th and so let me hear the head out again so she said she heard she was sleeping she heard a voice say please come outside in my head that said please come outside that was in 4 her in the morning the next minute was 7 30 in the morning and i was standing in the yard and i was looking up at an enormous spacecraft that was as big as my house the only thing i remember is a bunch of us that were only lights gathering around the table and looking at maps when larry came running out of the house it had vanished and our marriage wasn't doing so well anyway 1972 i was a I mean, she seems pretty switched on, right? Oh, my God. Okay, right. So, that's that. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, mate, I've got so much for you, for you to see. I, this is going to be a quite a few videos, yeah, so far. And the emails keep on flooding in. So, thank you so much for sending me all this stuff. Now, I don't know. Let me, uh, let me see if I can find it a minute. I I saved some sort of interview from somebody that was talking about a certain date. Um, here we go. Here it is. There's going to be a video of an actual interview of an actual extraterrestrial being. You know so this. Yes. This clip is taken from the most recent Night Shift podcast episode. Daniel Sheehan, a legal representative for prominent figures in the UFO Mate, that's community. that's some hair. That's, you're rocking that hair, dude. ...such as Lou Elizondo and Stephen Greer, claims to have knowledge of an existing interview with an extraterrestrial being. Watch the full clip and comment what you think below. If when the disclosure moment happens, there's going to be an aha moment, I think, right? Where there's a before this moment and then there's an after. And at the, every day after that, the world is just going to be a different place. And I don't know what there's the- going what, be, There's going to be a video of an actual interview of an actual extraterrestrial being. There's you know a, this? Yes. You know, so, I mean, I know that that exists. Uh, and uh, and that's part of the crown jewels that they're not going to want to reveal. But uh, is that that's on the table to come out? Well, uh, what I'm saying is that I talked to the person who was there, 
uh, and that they've got this on film. Uh, and so that if you're really going to get down, when you say we get to the nut of the whole thing, mm -hmm. uh, that's that's the kind of thing that once it's shown. Now, hang on a second, because I got a funny feeling whether it's a new one, because there is a video of this interview with an alien that looks really legit. I don't think it is. But I'm going to show you it anyway. I don't know whether he's referring to that one or is a brand new one that's going to be released. Shown to the American public, <clears throat> there's, you know, Katie bar the door. You know, there's nothing that can can be denied anymore. You know, and up until now, even though you have David Grush, who's, you know, the person from the National Reconnaissance Office assigned to the, the UFO task force inside the Office of Naval Intelligence, comes forward under oath and testifies to a House committee, all on video. You know, and and it only sinks in to with about two to three or four percent of the people in the country because they're off doing something else. So the question is, how specific does it have to get? How graphic does the information have to be? You know, you always hear about, oh, why don't they land on the White House lawn? You know, or, you know, or why don't they land in Central Park? You know, like Keanu Reeves did. There's going to be a video. Right. So is he referring to this one? This freaks me right out, mate. This could be this could be the fakest thing ever in the existence of fake videos, okay? But it does freak me out. Imagine if this was one hundred percent legit, mate. Oh, mate, this is absolutely, this is weird, man. This is so weird. Okay, so you evolved from us. Gosh. So what are you doing? So here? you evolved from us. See, the thing is, I don't want to look into it too much because in my head, I'm thinking this has got to be so bullshit. But the thing is, this is what, this is the problem nowadays, right? And maybe this is a plan. Feed us with so much information, real and fake, real and fake, real and fake. When you throw in the real stuff, people don't know if it's real or fake. So literally, the world could show us anything they want. We're just going to be totally oblivious to it all, right? Yeah, it's fake, isn't it? Yeah, CGI. Yeah, it's a puppet. Well, you know? You just don't know. That's the problem. Observing since evidence was destroyed. Oh, okay, I don't want to go too much. If you want us, if you want me to watch the rest of that, let me know. But the, otherwise, this video is going to be about twenty-five hours long. Okay, so look, he might be referring to that one. I don't know. Hopefully, there's like a brand new video coming out. I'm not too sure. It's like a, it's like waiting for a trailer to a new movie to come out, right? Anyway, so there's that. Um. <clears throat> Uh, okay, I have to talk about this because it's starting to really annoy me now. Okay, this Miami Mall thing, right? I was full on intrigued about it, really wanted to dive in. And I do think that, like I said before, I do think that something's gone on there, right? Something has. But I am sick to death now of seeing videos like this. Like, where is that? Where is that finger pointing to? I've looked at this video so many times. What are we supposed to be looking at? Where's the shadow? Where like that 
<laughs> that finger is pointing to everyone. <laughs> like, it, it, it's doing my head in. I've looked at that video so many times, I can't see any, any sh tall shadow person there. Please, by all means, go back, look at it, right? And tell me if you can see anybody that doesn't look human in there. I don't think you will, all right? I wanted to get that off my chest. Do me head in. Right, um... Uh... Okay. Right. Um... Oh my god, mate. If if you want to see what seems to be a legitimate UFO and what the capabilities of it are, then check this out. This is going to blow your mind, okay? Somebody sent me this. I can't remember who sent me it. And I don't even know how it's been, how I've got it, but check this out. This is basically leaked. It's almost leaked, isn't it? <laughs> I remember when leaked, the word leaked used to be, it used to mean something, right? Oh, leaked photos. You'd be like, what? Leaked photos? And I was like, now everything's leaked. <laughs> you know? Like, they, they use it for titles. Leak this, leak that. No, you just released it, okay? Anyway, whatever. Whether this is leaked or released, I'm not too sure. Check this out, mate. Leaked military UFO footage shows alleged alien aircraft not even flinching after they fire missiles at it. Holy moly, mate. You see that. You wait. You wait. So this UFO is dripping something or some kind of molten liquid metal or something like that. However, now the military is seeing these things floating in the sky. So they call in an A-10 Warthog who comes in and fires a Sidewinder missile at it. Now watch what happens. What is it leaking? Watch, 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 watch. This is absolutely amazing. Boom! Sidewinder hits him. Boom, boom, boom! Nothing. It doesn't even phase him. It doesn't flinch. It doesn't even phase him. Can I know. You, what the fuck was that? I don't know, mate. Holy fucking shit. Yeah. Did you guys fucking see that? Yeah. What the fuck was that? Is that they have straight up normal 1080p color video. This is where it gets really strange as well. When they start zooming in and out and stuff. Let's look, look, watch. Not thermal vision, but just straight up. What's it look like with a regular camera? Well, it's going to come up here in a minute. That's what's really cool is I'm, I'm glad we're able to see that. What it looks like without the thermal imaging. So they appear to be just some, some kind of balls of energy. I mean, look at that. <laughs> I mean, look at that. That's what it is, zoomed in with the thermal camera. Which is very similar to the jellyfish, right? Very similar to the jellyfish. Anyway, I wanted to show you that. Oh, God, yes. Look at what is going on here, man. Please tell me this is real or, or when it was. I think this was this was a long time ago, okay? This was 12 years ago. It's 12 years ago. But look at this. Disclosure. Jerusalem, look. Tamtalem? Like, what was all that flash about? Look! Come on. Hang on. Look, where did that even come from? Where's that flash coming from? It's like there's something here as well. Boom. Boom. And then... Oh, Rod. Whoa. Whoa. 
Mate. Is that real? <laughs> Mate, I like that is incredible. I wanted to show you that one. Oh, yes. Okay. The final one. Okay. Because I, I've got to save some. I've got to save some. Um, it, This was in Utah. United States of America, baby. Come on. Right. Check this out. You're going to love this. Man, look how beautiful that place is, though. To be fair. Like, look, I mean, look at it. Look how beautiful you are. Huh? Utah, baby. Come on. I'd love to go to Utah. Maximum photos. Oh shit, I thought that was it, man. It wasn't. Oh, I think this is it coming up. I think this might be it. Yeah, I think this is it. Did you see that? Look. Here. Mate. Wait, I'm going to pause it. Ready? Bang. Look. Here it is. Here it is. Here. Look, frame by frame. Look at the speed of this thing. Boom. Is this... Mate, is this real? Because what I'm looking at, right, is, like, you can see it here now. Bang. And then there's a point... Where it where is it? Is it here? Because what tells me that it could be real is this separation here. Right? Because at no other point does it separate. And I know, I know it's like, it's one frame capturing when it was here and now it's there and it's captured. Like, but if it was CGI, I don't think that you would see that. Like here as well. What I'm trying to get at is, although it does appear very quickly, it does appear right there, but then... Is that just because of the quality of the footage? It just appears. I don't know, mate. I don't know. But it's amazing. It's amazing. What do you reckon? Is that real? Now, to this day, I still don't know. I know sometimes there can be lightning storms, right? In, in, uh, in clouds. Just like, just stirring, like brewing, okay? But this is weird because this isn't just clouds shaking with light. There is, if you look closely, there is a four or five or maybe six lights that are strategically placed around. They look it's like in symmetrical and they look like it just looks like it could be some sort of UFO behind the clouds or, or, or cloaking or something like that. Check this out. Like, like, one, two, one, two, three. What is, what is that all about? This is in the UK. I mean, do you know... Do you know how rare it is to see something like that in the UK? I've, I've, I've never seen anything like that in my entire life. I don't know, I'm young.
Look, look. It's just a little bit of a coincidence that there's these like light things going on. It could be clouds, but really that equal distance apart from each other? Right, that's what I'm going to show you so far. But mate, believe me, there is so much more to come. So if you like what you see, please make sure you subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.